Well, hello, everybody. This is October the 31st, and I do not recognize Halloween. We don't celebrate Halloween, but regardless, it is Halloween oh, day. Oh, oh. It's Halloween day, and uh, but instead of being all scary, um, we got something more like... It's more like Christmas to us. Um, it's more like Christmas as opposed to Halloween. So we got a very important piece of mail today. Mail. That mail that we've been we mail. <laughs> that we've been waiting for since September the twentieth. So today is October the thirty first, and we've been waiting for this piece of mail since September twentieth. Go ahead, open it up, make it like Christmas on Halloween. Oh, well, looky, looky, what I got here. You only get one of these, ladies and gentlemen, if you have a clean background. Imagine that. Mr. Stephen C. Howard, born in Bakersfield, California, some couple years ago. <laughs> got, got a clean background check. And I now am the proud owner of a Twit card. Oh, look at that mugshot! <laughs> They took your picture. I, I completely forgot they took your picture. You look mean. How come you're not smiling? Oh, well, I've never even seen it. How would I know? Um, you just snagged it right <laughs> out of my hand. Well, it's Christmas to us, not well, Halloween. I, I mean, it's mine, and I didn't get to look at it. <laughs> Congratulations, you're a twick, and you want to say wig. <laughs> yeah, well, I can use a wig card. AJ, Stephen wants to say wig, which stands for women, infant, and children. But I he, can use a wig card. Um, Your twick application was approved, and... um. Please take a moment, blah, 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 blah. So, anyway, um, so se since September the 20th, we've been... You're not, not supposed to be showing that. has got my private PIN number on there. It's not. Though. I'm not showing yeah, any PIN number. Showing private no, yeah, I'm there's not. my PIN right I, there. I, it's right there. The eight-digit personal identification number PIN for the Twig that. has been mailed to you in a separate envelope. <laughs> well, thank goodness, because you would have just gave it to the whole world. <laughs> So that's going to be laughing because you got out of trouble, <laughs> but you almost gave the whole world my Twix pen. Oh, your Twix pen. <laughs> so um, what is a Twix card? What is it? It looks like I'm in prison. <laughs> that looks like I'm going to prison. <laughs> it looks like a mugshot. <laughs> so, so that was taken September 20th. Okay. Tell me what the significant, what does Twix stand for? Uh, Transportation work or something. I don't know. I know they taste real good. Not a Twix. See, not a Twix, but a Twix. Transportation workers something. That's all I can remember. Because uh, I asked her, and it stands for transportation workers. Transportation Security Administration. Oh, okay. Uh, it doesn't say it. They didn't break it down. Well, okay, but what is a Twix card? Uh, I don't know. What is it? What, what? I give it up. Come on, talk to us about what a Twix so, card is. Uh, it's so that you can get on uh, places where they need your background check, like the ports. So you got to have one of these to get on a port, or you got to have an escort. And you have to have a... And it used to be $100 to $200 for an escort. Clean. You have to have a clean Years bill. Years ago, and with Biden inflation, it's probably way more than that. So, but, you, but we, you've never been able to get one before. Why is that? Uh, because I was a criminal. Oh, you have a. It's several years. And, um, it's it goes is it until two thousand and, and uh, But I'm not a criminal anymore. I've been. I have a clean slate now. You have a clean criminal record. That's right. It's I, all been wiped. That's right. No. It's about time you're sixty two, and these crimes were committed when you were in your twenties. Yep, my early twenties. So. so it took us forty years to get your record clean. Yep. Forty years of behaving like an angel. So, so uh, you'll be able to go to ports, ports, and military bases. I, I don't know if this will get me on a military base, but maybe I'll have to check into that. But it gets me on ports. Okay. And other places that you need a background check. So it just means that, that there's no criminal record coming back on you then. 
Well. This is so exciting. Um, yay. We've been waiting since Just September in time. 20. I'm yeah. fixing to go. I'm leaving tomorrow. At, uh, I'm leaving here at 1 a.m. to get on my plane at 6.30. I'm supposed to be there two hours early to check in. And I'm taking that plane to Detroit where I'll have a two-hour layover, a two-hour and two-minute layover. And then I'll fly over 40, 30 or 40 minutes over to Lansing, Bunny Hop or whatever you want to call it. And then I will be picked up where I will be bringing home. Uh, then they're going to take me out to dinner and at the steakhouse. And uh, we're going to have some nice dinner steak. And then uh, tomorrow or Saturday, I'll be driving the truck home just in time for church where I'm supposed to do a special. And uh, so, yeah, I'm going to go get my truck. And then next I have an, uh, 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 what do you call that? Um an interview, not an interview, but an orientation. orientation. I have an orientation with Ace Doran. And they're a hundred and something years old, uh, owned by Bennett, which is over a hundred and something years old, which is also partnered with Admiral Merchants, which is also over a hundred years old. Well, they hired me, and I've been approved in all areas, along with my Twit card. And I will be picking up a step deck trailer that's a 2017. And I'm going to be pulling the 53-foot step deck and driving my new uh, classic short nose. Uh, it's white and blue with a brand new, uh, not a brand new, but a fairly new APU unit on it. And uh, she's all ready to go. She's a plug and play, put in the key and go. I'm going to pick up my, my tags, my door tags and everything and get my trailer. And then I can come home and pass out. <laughs> from all the excitement work, all the work and everything i'm gonna be doing to get into the new company all of you have uh, not all of you some of you are saying you idiot why are you going back to being an owner operator when you failed at it three times well, well you didn't fail at first it. of all i didn't fail at it three times i failed one time and that was 20 years ago and i went bankrupt then uh, when I recovered from that, I had two trucks. And uh, when I got out of it that time, it was because uh, we had problems with our son. And then I got my third truck, uh, third or fourth truck, and which was that black freight liner with the silver uh, flames on the hood. I uh, ran that truck, and then we started having problems with the boy again. And I had to come off the road to deal with court issues and all kinds of stuff. Plus, I was struggling with freight along with everybody else. But that's not the reason why I got out of it. I got out of it because I couldn't make any money going back and forth to court and appointments and all this stuff. So I traded and got into forestry mulching. I did fail at that. <laughs> we'll own that one, right? I Wait, failed what? at forestry mulching. And then I got on with Kentucky Western uh, and I drove over there. And uh, now I'm getting going back into trucking, but this time I'm going in with a clean background. And for the first time in oh, three or four decades. And so, uh, and so I'm getting on with a really good company and, uh, and uh, I should be successful because I'm getting on with a successful company with a, with a nice truck and a, nice trailer and uh so that i can provide for my family and uh we can finish up my uh well i'll be 70 in eight years and so i can finish up my driving career and uh in eight years i'll be able to pull over and maybe spend a day or two in ho at home how about that so anyway so tell them why it's not really your fault about the forestry thing Tell them about the insurance issue that we just couldn't get it. Well, there was just many things that happened that it just didn't work out. But I can tell you the guy that bought it from us is very happy. Uh, I ran it for him, showed him how to use it and fix a couple of the bugs he had. The only thing that I don't like about it is the air conditioner wasn't coming on due to the cooling fan that needed to be changed. And the glass, the bulletproof glass was pretty ate up and made it hard to see out of there but it doesn't seem to bother him any so as long as he's happy i'm happy he's happy and uh we're all happy and we've got a clean background check and we got a new company and a new truck with a new step deck trailer 53 foot transcraft 
And uh, I think it's trans crap. I forgot what we're wanting to do with it. Yeah, I think he already put it away. But anyway, a new 53, or not new, but 2017 53-foot trailer. Step deck. I mean, we have to, we're having to finance that. I have everything except for the 8-foot tarps. I have brand new 6-foots and brand new 4-foots tarps and chains. I might have to get some uh, portables. But other than that, ready to roll. So have a wonderful day. Have lots of fun. Uh, I'm Big Belly. And I'm Bumbles. And together we make... Big Belly Bumbles. <laughs> You're supposed to say it with me. Big Belly Bumbles. Hold on. Let me... Let me... Here we are. I'm showing me now. The camera's on Bigger me. Bigger Belly Bumbles. So you're Big Belly. I'm bigger. <laughs> and together we are... Bigger big Belly, belly Bumbles. bumbles. <laughs> so don't be bumbling anyway, along. Have, have lots of fun, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. God bless and later. Later. Yay!